what's going on it is Dylan and I am here today with a GoPro tutorial video more specifically we're going to do a couple of time lapses with a couple of different GoPro cameras and I'm going to show you guys the difference between GoPro time-lapse video mode and just doing it the regular old-school way with just actual photos um, we're going to the lake and we'll get set up and uh, I'll show you guys how to make the time lapses, the settings, all that good stuff. And uh, let's get to the lake, let's get to doing some time lapses. Yeah. Hey guys, so I am here at the lake and it is extremely windy outside. So I'm sitting in my truck right now. I'm going to actually launch the uh, GoPro app and connect to the GoPro session. It's not the GoPro session five, it's just the original session. And this is the camera that we're going to do a time lapse via taking photos and then stitching them together in an editing program. So this is what I call more the old school way of doing the uh, time lapse so again we're in the gopro uh, app and we're connected to our gopro session i'm going to tap on it and this isn't where i'm going to do the time lapse or anything obviously here in my truck i just wanted to launch the app so i could show you guys how to do the settings instead of actually filming the actual physical gopro with another camera because of sun glare and wind it would just it wouldn't sound or look good so we're going to do it this way and guys these settings apply to if you're just changing them on your gopro without using the app as well so down in the bottom right corner you see the little tool uh, icon we want to click on the uh, video camera to switch modes to photo and we click there in the middle and as you can see it's in photo and then you can click on the little camera icon and then to the right of it you will see a bunch of little photos we're going to actually want that one that's how you switch the modes between camera photo and um, multiple shots so we're going to right click that and then you'll see we have time lapse or burst well burst is where it'll fire off just a bunch of pictures real quick but we actually want time lapse obviously now we need to go to the bottom right corner and hit the tool icon to go into settings and then if you'll look here at the very top now i have photo settings and here's our options we obviously want to do eight megapixels and then um on time lapse setting here this is your interval how many photos do you want the gopro to take um you know like how often so i'm probably not going to stay here just an incredibly long time but so i don't it these intervals matter they do matter depending what kind of time lapse you're shooting if you're shooting people walking or vehicles moving something on the streets with lots of fast movement lots going on you're going to want to keep your interval down to 0.5 1 or 2 but if you have slow clouds moving or things like that then um, you're going to want to do longer um, intervals so as i said i'm not going to stay here very long and the faster interval um, the more pictures you get which makes for a longer time lapse so i'm going to keep it at two seconds so it's going to take a photo every two seconds and all we're going to do is set our gopro out there and then we're going to turn it on and let it start firing photos every two seconds and just let it capture those photos for us and uh, that's how you do just um, the old school way of taking photos we're fixing to start that okay so as you can see here guys we have the gopro session on a little tripod and i am fixing to uh turn it on and just start firing photos first of all you obviously want to make sure that you uh kind of aim it in the general direction that you want to do your time lapse so we'll just call that the good there and i'm going to on the very top to do video on the gopro session if you don't already know you just short press it but if you want to do photos you have to hold it down until it starts beeping okay so now it is going to take pictures every two seconds i'm obviously going to tilt it about to where i want it and that looks good and now it's we're going to leave it alone let it do its thing 
taking photos every two seconds. Okay, so now we are back in the GoPro app, and guys, if my uh, my mouth isn't synced up, if it's not matching the audio, it's because I'm in the GoPro app, and there's always a little bit of latency, there's a little bit of delay, there's a little bit of lag. So in just case you're wondering, that's what's up with that. But anyways, back in the GoPro app, and we've got the session going and firing away photos, as you guys saw. Now, on this one, we're going to click on the camera. And it's going to start our preview. Now, on this one, I, this is the GoPro Hero 5 Black that you're seeing. And on this one, we're not going to actually take photos. I mean, it is going to, but we're setting up in a way to where it's going to automatically take those photos and make it into a video file to where when you take the micro SD card out of your GoPro, put it in your computer, click on that file, it's already just a time lapse. Just cuts out the middleman, which is yourself having to stack a bunch of photos and do all that in editing and it's just ready to go. So I wanted to show you guys the differences between those two ways. So as you can see, we are in video mode down in the uh, bottom right corner. You see the little video camera icon. You're gonna wanna click on it. And then on the very far right at the top is the little clock looking uh, icon, which means time lapse. Now you'll see that you have these three options here, time lapse video, time lapse photo, and night lapse photo. Um, night lapse photo is for like when you're wanting to do a time lapse at night or a star lapse or a night time lapse. So we're not going to mess with that one today. Now time lapse photo, which I just clicked on, that would be what we just set up and what we're doing with the GoPro session. But what we're going to want to do on this one is time lapse video because it does what I told you guys. It'll once you push start, it's actually taking a bunch of photos at whatever interval you set. But then when it's done, it's just going to be a video, flattened video, ready to go. So, anyways, we need to uh, click on settings down the bottom right, and what we are looking for is right here. I'll put it to where it's at the top. Time lapse settings. I'm going to do it the exact same as what I'm doing on the GoPro session where it's taking the photos manually. We're gonna do it at a two second interval. So every two seconds, the camera's gonna take a picture and we are done. So now let's get the GoPro 5 out there and let's get it set up. And I apologize in advance for any wind noise. I do have a dead cat on my Sony a7S II I'm fixing to film with, but there's nothing I can do about wind, so. Okay, so now we have the GoPro 5 black out on the table on the same little tripod pointing a little bit different direction than what my GoPro session is. And what we need to do is we need to turn the camera on by just short pressing the side over here. And then I know you guys can't see the screen like I can because of sun glare, but all I'm doing is taking it to that moto like we did in the app to where it does time-lapse video and our two second interval is selected. And I have my, get my shot framed up. I'll actually just go ahead and stick it kind of over here so we can get kind of the same time lapse. So I have it framed up and I have it in time lapse video mode. Now all I'm gonna do is short press the top and now it is doing its thing. So now we have both cameras doing their thing and now it's just a waiting game. Okay, so I let them sit there and go about, oh, 10 minutes or so, but I uh, just stopped both of them. Now I'm going to grab them, gonna head home, then I'll adopt, then I will launch Adobe Premiere Pro, which is my video editing program of choice. Um, you can do this in Final Cut Pro, Sony Vegas, any, you know, semi-good, decent um, editing program. Um, if you use any of those, it may not be the exact same thing and way that you do it as far as how the layout and how it works in Adobe Premiere Pro as uh, it is in your editing program if you're not in Premiere Pro, but the whole concept and idea is the same, so you should still be able to follow along. Let's go. Okay guys, so now that we have Adobe Premiere Pro launched, we're going to start off by doing the one from the GoPro session um, that took a bunch of photos that we actually have to stitch together and make a time lapse. Uh, manually, so to speak, as opposed to the uh, video mode time lapse that the GoPro 5 Black got. So here we go. We are in Adobe Premiere Pro. We're going to right click and we're going to hit import down here in the bottom left. And then we're going to find the folder that all of our photos are in, which 
that's important that you, um, after you get your micro SD card and you put all the photos that your camera took for your time lapse, put them all in the same folder. Now, what you're going to do here in um, Adobe Premiere Pro, after you hit import, you're just going to single click your very first photo. Then down in the lower left, you're going to see options. You're going to click on options. And you'll notice that this comes up and we want to check image sequence. And then what that's going to do is that's going to load every single photo and import it into Adobe Premiere Pro as a video, so to speak. So like it's already doing all the hard work for you. Um, so as you can see here, when you move left to right, all those photos are already stitched together for us. And uh, that's how you would do it in Adobe Premiere Pro. So we're going to drag over here. I always click, click keep existing settings. So what's going on with that, guys, is um, it, when you shoot photos on a GoPro, by default it shoots at a 4-3 ratio as opposed to a 16-9. So you can single click on your clip here, then go up here to Effect Controls. And then if you'll go to Scale and either push down on your, um, on your keyboard, on your keypad, push down, or you can scroll left and right. What I would like to do is I get it zoomed out, so to speak, as much or um, scaled out as much as I can without seeing any black bars there. So it looks like about 59%. And then as far as positioning it up and down, you've got some play too from the top and the bottom. So obviously there's not too much going on down at the bottom of the photo. There's more stuff going up in up, uh, more stuff going on up in the air, up in the sky. So we're going to frame it to where we show the majority of the sky. So then if you push space bar, you can see that there is our time lapse from all those photos. I think it's about 420 something photos that our GoPro session took. So we that's all you have to do there in Adobe Premiere Pro and other programs like um, Vegas Pro, Sony Vegas Pro, as well as Final Cut Pro. Uh, I'm not sure on Final Cut Pro, I've never edited in Final Cut Pro, but on Sony Vegas, you actually have to drag all the photos in and you'll see them just all stacked like this. And then you go into your settings and adjust them to where it only shows them like really, really quick. And then it just fires through like animation and it gives you the same effect. So now let's import our time lapse from the GoPro 5 Black. Okay, so right click, import. And then this is the file I just know it is. Um, that is our time lapse from the GoPro 5 Black. We're gonna double click to import it. And then as you can see here, push spacebar, there's our time lapse. We didn't have to uh, select every single photo and uh, do it that way. This is quite a bit easier as you just have to, uh, basically it's just already a video file. So I'm gonna start there and I guarantee it right at the end, it's probably gonna get a little jerky. Yeah, I come in the shot. I don't want me in the shot. So what I wanna do is, so I wanna get to right when I'm out of the shot and I'm gonna hit O on my keyboard for output. Then I'm going to drag this down. And then we have our time lapse. Now, one thing right off the bat you guys have probably already noticed is that this from our GoPro session that we uh, did individual photos, it's so much faster. That just all has to do with how um, it, it's done inside Adobe Premiere Pro for this video here. And let's Real quick, guys, let's, we're going to click on this. Effect control, same thing. We shot it at 4.3 as opposed to 16 by 9, so let's get it to where we want it. And it looks good about right there. And let's show more of the sky. A little bit of the, uh, the bottom, too. So let's just call that good. Anyway, so as I was saying, this is a lot shorter, but you can just, if you want them to be the exact same duration, all you have to do in Adobe Premiere Pro is uh, go to the end of your clip, and you're going to hit R on your keyboard. Now watch my cursor. I'm fixing to hit R in three, two, one. Notice how it changed to that. Now if we go here until it changes, till the cursor changes to look like that, when we scrub back, click and hold and go back, and that's uh, making the speed even faster. So I'm going to hit space bar, then there'll be a little, it'll play the first one from the GoPro session, then there'll be a little gap, then it'll play the one from the GoPro 5 Black. And you know what, let me go ahead and pre-render those so you guys can see them a little better. I'm gonna hit I on my keyboard for input. 
go to the end and push O on my keyboard for output. Then we're going to go up to sequence, render into out. And what this is doing is it is just pre-rendering. And then I will show you guys, um, we'll push spacebar once it's done. And then I'll actually have the full high res videos of both of them after this. So anyways, guys, there are our two different time lapses from the GoPro Session and the GoPro 5 Black. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to smash that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're into GoPros or want to know more about GoPros. I plan on doing a whole lot more GoPro stuff uh, upcoming. So uh, as always, guys, I enjoyed it. This is Dylan. I'm going to leave you guys with these two time lapses, and we'll see you next time.